In this tutorial, I'll show you how to increase sales of your WordPress web shop by, for example, adding live chat, where the customers can send a message and it can be responded to straight away. If an order is put in, a discount code is provided, as you can see here, where you can click on let's do it and you get provided with a discount code. You could also send a message like this, for example, where the AI comes back and provides a response to help increase sales and save time. So follow along to see how to do all of this in this tutorial. One of the most effective ways to increase sales of your WordPress web shop is to add live chat to your website so customers can speak to you and ask about anything to do with the product or whether to do a return policy or whatever it might be and you can do that for free by going to builderwebs.com forward slash tidio and it'll take you to the website and when you're ready click on get started and you can sign up for completely free and use tidio for free so create an account by entering your email password the website url of your website, agree to the terms and conditions. When you filled out all this information, click on get started for free. And then you want to give your live chat a name. So I'm just going to call it Jonathan because my name's Jonathan, but you can call it whatever you like. And you'll see that the changes are reflected on the right hand side. You can choose different colour schemes, you can even upload an avatar, just a picture of yourself, however you want to do it. I'm just going to leave it on the blue. And then click on continue. And then you can personalise the chat bot and say what you're going to use it for. So I'm just going to tick all of these. Uh, but you can choose whatever you want. And then you can choose how many support agents. I'm just going to say one, but you can choose as many agents as you like. I'm going to say it's for an online store. How many customers did you have last month? I'm going to say zero, I'm getting started, but you pick what is relevant to you. When you've made your selections, click on continue. We're then going to add our first chat bot. So we're just going to greet them warmly because we'll show you how to add uh, discount codes later on. So once you've made the selection, click on continue and then we're going to follow these instructions, which I'm going to show you. So if you just click on WordPress, and then if you just click continue, it'll open up this panel, which you can just close down. And then the next thing you want to do is go into WordPress. So log into WordPress, and then you want to go to plugins and you want to click on add new. And then under search plugins on the right hand side here, you just want to search for Tidio. And then you want to go on this one here and click on install now. You then want to click activate. Up at the top, you'll see that there's Tidio here. You can click on that, or down the left hand side, you can click on Tidio Chat. You'll then want to log in. So if you just scroll down and click on Log In, and then if you enter your email and password you use to sign up to Tidio just before, and then click Log In. You then want to choose a project, so there should only be one, the website you entered earlier, and then click on Integrate Selected Project. And now it says WordPress was integrated successfully, so Tidio and WordPress are now linked. Now click on Open Tidio Panel just here, and it opens up the Tidio Panel. And in here later on, we'll show you how you can add chatbots to increase the sales of your WordPress web shop. 
And we'll also show you how you can add an AI chatbot that will automatically respond to questions from the customers. So let's go back into WordPress and let's go to the home page of the website by clicking the home button here. And as you can see, the live chat's available. The welcome chatbot that we enabled earlier is here. And then if you click on enter your message, the customer can then type a message, for example, something like this, where if they didn't have this available, they might decide to leave the site. And then they can send the message and it lasts for an email address and they can sign up to the newsletter. I'll show how this can be turned off later, but if you put an email in, for example, and then they can choose to sign up to the newsletter or not, click send. And then inside the Tidio panel, a message comes in and it can be replied to. For the site owner or operator to reply, to the question, this one here. Just click on join conversation. And as it says there, it's moved to my opens. It goes from unassigned conversations to my open. And then they can reply using just typing away, or they can use can responses, or you can also use chatbots, which I'll get to later on. Next up, I'll show you how to increase sales of your WordPress web shop using chatbots. So to start using chatbots to increase sales of your WordPress web shop, click on the chatbots icon on the side. And then we're going to click on increase sales. And it gives you all these pre-built chatbots that you can pretty much activate and use straight away. So we're, we're going to click on the post purchase discount. So you can just click on it and then it gives you an explanation. You can test it out if you want. We're going to click on use template. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say there's a 10%, but if you click in it, you can change how much discount you're offering. But basically when the customer buys something, they'll get 10% off the next order. So click on add coupon code. So add whatever yours is in WordPress. Just type that in. There's that part done. And then all we're going to do is click activate. Before we show you the chatbot live on the website, if you just click on these three dots next to post purchase discount, and if you tick this option, it'll trigger even if an operator is handling it. And because we picked it up earlier as an operator, if we didn't tick this, a discount wouldn't be sent. So make sure that's ticked. Of course, you can untick it and do what you want later on. So if you go into the website and you buy a product, you get to the checkout, you enter your details, credit card information, you can do it in test mode. I have a video in the description that shows you how to add test mode so you can try out payment. And then if you click on place order, you'll see that you get the option in the bottom right to get a discount on the next order. Click on let's do it. And then it provides the code and it can be used next time. So it's easy to see how something like this can increase sales of your WordPress web shop because if you can offer discount codes on the next purchase, people are likely to come back. Next up, we'll cover how to add an AI chatbot that will automatically respond to questions from the customer, even if they're worded differently. So to add an AI chatbot, go into the Tidio panel click on the chatbot section, then click on under AI response bots, click on Lyra. Then click on set up now, uh, set up Lyra. Then if you accept 
this, click on accept. You can choose to import from a website where you put the URL of the frequently asked question page in and Tiddy will do all the hard work and add it in, uh, add all the questions and answers in. Or you can click create FAQ from scratch, so we're going to choose that, choose next. You'll then want to make sure that it picks up the home page of your website and then click on generate. When it's analysed the website, it'll bring back all these different options and it should have picked up about 25 and you can choose to add them. And then they'll be populated on this page. You can delete one of the questions by doing that, clicking on the dots and clicking delete. You can add new questions by clicking add new question. When I scroll down here and I look at, for example, how do I re request a refund? I'm going to go into the website and put that question worded a little bit differently and see what response it comes back. And hopefully it should respond with something like this. One thing to do first is just click the backwards arrow at the top and make sure that Lyro is activated. You can do that by clicking there, or you can also activate it up at the top and just get a few of these messages. So then if we go into the website and we put, for example, this question in, and then you provide an email address. Again, I'll show you how you can turn this off later on. Sign up to the newsletter if you want. Choose send. It comes back with Lyro's thinking. And as you can see there, it's provided the response. It's looked at the question and it's brought back this frequently asked question here and that response matches that there so you can see how this kind of thing saves time where you don't have to have customer service representatives replying to these different questions you can create the, the pre-made questions and answers in here as many as you like and have Lyro respond to the questions and answers We'll now go into the settings and we'll cover some of the settings. So if you go down to the bottom and you click on the on the cog settings, again you can change the colour round and different things like that. Have a play about with it. Obviously you can see on the right hand side how it changes and you can change the messages. Like I say, have a play about with it. If you click on below, so if you just Close this down by clicking the arrow here and you go on pre-chat survey. You can choose to take off the need to provide an email. So for example, you could just delete that and when you're ready, click save. And then it won't ask for an email or click the newsletter, but you can also leave that on if you like. It just depends what you want. We'll just close this pre-chat survey down and have a look at all the different options down the sidebar. But next up, we're going to click on download apps. So you can have Tidio on your mobile. So if you're on the go, you can reply to customer queries on the go. You can also have it on your desktop so you don't have to have a web page open and you'll hear them the messages come through. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful. There's a link in the description of the video that will link to the blog tutorial of this, which you can follow along step by step. If you haven't already, please subscribe for future videos. Thanks very much, Jonathan.